Welcome to another free Excel tutorial brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up cascading drop-down lists in your Excel spreadsheets. Here's a question I get asked all the time. How can I make cascading drop-down lists in Excel? Where, for example, let's say we have make and model of a car. I want to be able to pick Ford, and then for the models, only see a list of Ford cars. Or if I pick Chevy, only see a list of Chevy cars. And this is just one example. You can use it with countries and cities, or you can use it with product categories and product names. But I picked make and model of a car for the example here. So I created some lists right over here. First, I have a list of the different makes, Ford, Chevy, Toyota. Then I have a list of all the Ford cars, Chevy cars, and Toyota cars that I want to appear in my drop-down lists. Now, you can put these on a different sheet if you want to, or you can hide them. There's lots you can do. For now, to keep it simple, I just have them here on the same sheet. Now, to make the drop-down list for make, that's very easy. We're going to come up to the Data tab, and then over to Data Validation. That's going to bring up the Data Validation window. I want to pick from a list of values Where's my list? Well, the source button, click on this right here, and then select your list of values right there. All right, D1 to D3. Press Enter. And now I've created my source for my list. Now you can set up custom input messages and error alerts. There's lots you can do with data validation. I cover them in my Excel Expert Level 10 class. I go through all these different settings. But for now, that's all we have to do to create our list. Now if I come over here, I've got a list of my cars, right? Chevy, Ford, Toyota, populated from this list right here. Now the next part is a little bit more tricky. I have to create separate lists for each of these guys. We're going to first start off by creating named ranges for each one of these lists. So I'm going to select E1 through E4, come over here to the name box, and I'm going to call this Ford, and then press Enter. That's how you set up a named range using the name list. I cover setting up named cells and ranges in my Excel Expert Level 1 class. This one here is going to be Chevy. And make sure that's spelled exactly the same way as it appears right here. And finally, we have this list, which will be Toyota. Toyota. There we go. So now I have three different lists right here. Now I can create the drop-down box for my model list. So click here in cell B4. Again, data, data validation. I'm going to create a list. The source this time is going to be whichever one of those lists I picked in the make box. Right, right here, I'm going to pick Toyota. That's the name of the list, the name of the range that it's in. But I can't just type that in here. I have to use a function called indirect. Indirect takes a text value and converts it over into a range if you have it set up as a named range. So I can say equals indirect, open parenthesis, B3, close parenthesis. In other words, take whatever's in cell B3 using the indirect function, convert that over to a range by looking up its named value. All right, hit OK. And now you'll see I have my list of Toyota vehicles. See that? Or if I change this to Ford, I have my list of Ford vehicles. See, it sees Ford right here. It knows we have a named range called Ford. It uses the indirect function to get that range right there, that D1 through D3. And then it returns it so I can pick from the list. I cover the indirect and address functions in my Excel Expert Level 4 classes. Lots of different functions. This is the combination of putting together three or four different advanced Excel concepts, but I cover all these things in my different lessons. Now, yes, there are more powerful techniques for doing this with Visual Basic and setting up macros and doing all kinds of crazy things with drop-down lists, but as you've seen, this is a real quick list that you can set up in about five minutes where you can pick a category, and then you get a list of options from that category. Now taking it even one step further, in my Excel Expert Level 10 class, I show you how to set up a database. So we have each make, model, and year of the car along with its price. We can set 
the make, pick the model, pick the year, and using the dget function, have Excel bring back what that year is. It's like VLOOKUP, but only with multiple criteria. So there's lots you can do once you know these different advanced techniques. I hope you've enjoyed this free tutorial brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. For more tutorials just like this, visit my website. YouTube viewers, visit this special page, 599cd.com slash x145. You'll get 90 minutes of my free Excel tutorials, my complete level 1 course. Plus, you'll get a discount, a giant discount on all my other tutorials. Again, 599cd.com slash x145.